Our objective for this video is going to be when we click on this button, show image, when I click on the button, I want these images to show or not show. So either show image is going to show these images or I'll click on the button and then hide the images. So the button should also reflect show, hide, image, and then accordingly do so. So how, here's how we're gonna tackle that. I'm gonna put this to the side here and show you the code. So what my intention is, we are gonna to go to, um, we're gonna create a show image property, show image, which is gonna be a Boolean. Boolean. And we're going to start it off with true. And so the idea is that, uh, lowercase true, there we go. The idea is that when this property is set to true, images show, and when this property is set to false, images don't show. So here's how we'll accomplish that. So we need to be able to change this to true and false, true and false. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find our image here. Let me see if I can put these all together so we can see them side by side. That would be really nice. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna find my image, which is here. And first of all, I have to set this image to this property. In other words, the image needs some kind of code that says if this is true, then display. If it's not true, then don't display this image. And so we're going to use, I'm going to make a line break just for readability. And so we're going to use this ng, ng if to say, okay, only display this if a condition is true. And our condition is going to be show image. That needs to be in quotations. So the idea there is exactly that. And I, I could put equals true, but really that's the same thing. If I just leave the value that way, then that's uh, defaults to true. So if show image is true, let's see our images. Let's just set it to false and see what happens. If it's false, let's see if that makes our pictures go away. So apparently that seems to be working. So if true, show the pictures. And if false, don't show. So we'll set it to true to start with, and then we need to apply some code so when the user clicks on this button, we can change this value from true to false. So that's going to be, well, first we'll create the function to make that happen. And so I'm going to scroll to the bottom of all of these products here, and I'm going to write a function that we'll call, um, let's just say, toggle image. Um, I'm going to put a semicolon here, and I'm going to write a function. Notice I don't have to write the word function anymore. That's a TypeScript thing. So toggle image, and then um, it's a method that's not receiving anything. TypeScript is going to allow me to specify a return type. What is this function returning? It's not returning anything, so I'm going to write the word void. And then I'm just toggling back and forth from that show image property. So I'm going to say... Um, this.show image. So in other words, this means my particular, um, this, this class's property type, this class's property, which is show image, which is not a product, it's not a property of the product array. Remember, it's a property of this class. So that's why I have to use the word show, uh, this. This.show image equals this equals the opposite, not this dot show image. So the opposite of whatever it is, which is Boolean, make it true or false. So that should toggle things on and off. And now we need to apply the click event to the button to fire our function, which toggles our show image on and off. And so that needs to be from our button. So we need to find our button, which is up here. And scroll this over a little bit. So again, as part of the button, so I need to make sure this code is written inside that closing cur uh, angle bracket. I'm going to put a click event, click equals, and then I want you to run the toggle gg, hard to talk and type at the same, the toggle show, or toggle image, see what happens? Toggle image function. All right, so let's see how that works. So if I click on the button, Nothing's happening. All right, so let's try and do the open and close curly braces, or uh, what are those called, parentheses. And now it's working. 
So show definitely having images toggle on and off. So on the click event, we're running this function and our show image is displaying or not displaying. And so now the only thing that's kind of weird is the terminology because it shows show image every time. So it would be better if right now it said hide image. And then when I click on it now, it should say show image. So let's add the code, the logic to make that happen. So again, inside this angle bracket, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, a co uh, computation rather than direct binding. I'm going to say, I want you to take show image and then if it's true, which is what this question mark is, this is called a ternary. So if show image is true, anything after the question mark is going to render. So if true, type the word hide. Otherwise, which is what the colon says, type the word show. And so now we should, maybe it has to be, let's see, what am I missing here? Uh, show image is true. Maybe it needs single quotes? That should work. What am I doing wrong? This should be, it's not happy with something I'm doing and I'm not sure what it is. Maybe you're seeing it and saying, do this, do this, because I'm not seeing it right off the bat. So, okay, don't know what I'm doing incorrectly, so show image hide colon show so let me go into my inspect element which is a good place to go when you have some er some errors and it says I'm expecting closing tag uh, it may be has already been closed so apparently I have not opened and closed things properly so let's look and see what that's all about uh, class equals Here's my closing, click equals, toggle. Oh, yes, I did make a mistake and it is exactly that. So this is not part of the logic for the button. This is the logic for the text inside the button. So I've misplaced my code. So I make mistakes too. All right, so I'm going to move this here. And now the idea is, because that's not part of my button, so therefore that shouldn't be inside of my closing angle bracket. That goes there. Okay. And so now I need to get rid of the word show. And so now the idea is hide image or show image. So let's see if now I've successfully made that happen. So I'm going to make that go away. And oh, good. Now it's saying hide image. And then if I click on it, it is hiding the image. And now show image. So show and hide there we go so now we got that working so uh, that then successfully was gave us the ability to send data from our template to our class so unlike we've done up here where we've sent data from our class to our template now we are sending data or we're talking from our template to our class by in this case we did it with a click event so we have seen data go two ways now between our class. So our class to our template and from our template to our class. And we'll build on that in the next video.